Hey, Lola. Hey, Bugs. What you doing? Standing on the side of the road. Fun. Oh, my gosh. You're never going to believe this. There is a guy standing on the side of the road who looks just like you. I'm about to hit him. <gasps> oh, sorry. That's my phone. Sorry. A lot of stuff in here. Makeup, keys, rubber band ball, deck of cards, stapler, flashlight, mini fan. I like to record my thoughts. Note to self, clean out your purse. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Oh, no, nothing. I'm just on a date with a really cute guy. He's sitting across from me right now. He's totally looking at me. Oh, no, wait. Now he's looking down. Now he's looking around. Oh, nope. He's looking at me again. <laughs> I better go. Okay, call me later. Okay, bye. Friend of yours? Nope. Wrong number. Oh, is there butter in this? I'm not supposed to have butter. <laughs> I'm allergic to butter. Oh, no, wait. It's gluten, not butter. I'm allergic to gluten. No, wait, not gluten. Pollen. Oh, no, wait. I love pollen. <laughs> is there pollen in this? Can I get some pollen in this? You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't really want carrot soup. Actually, maybe just one little taste. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, maybe just one more. Mm. Oh, one more. Mm, just one more. Mm. Mm. You can really taste the pollen. Are you going to eat yours? So what do you have planned for after dinner? How about a movie? We'll just sit together, watch a movie, mm. and not talk. That'll be nice. Mm. 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 This is so good. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not allergic to butter. Do you like this movie? I love this movie. Oh, it's so sad. But like uplifting too. It's like a feel-good movie. A sad feel-good movie. It's funny also. And scary. Oh! Oh, this is the best part. Oh, no, wait. This is the worst part. Oh, I hate this part. Oh, I have to pee. Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Watch, watch your leg. Excuse me. Oh, I love this part. Oh, excuse me. No, sorry. Going back. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> wow. That was a good movie. And now, your feature presentation. So basically, well, to make a long story short, wait, what was I talking about? I have no idea. <gasps> oh my gosh, I never paid. That was the worst date of my life. That was the best date of my life. Wait, didn't I have to do something? Note to self, clean out your purse. That's right. I can't stop thinking about that Dear John letter. Oh, I just need some peace and quiet. You'll find that here. True healing occurs when one is clear of mind and calm of spirit. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I totally agree with that. Your path is meditation. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the key to meditation is silence. Say what now? A vow of silence. For the next year, you shall not speak. You know, I bet I could achieve all that healing stuff without the silence. What do you think? I'm afraid the silence is necessary. What if I'm really quiet? Does that count? What about now? What if I'm this quiet? No one will even know I'm talking. Sorry, no. Not a word. Well, what about sounds? Are they allowed? Like when I'm surprised, I'd go, whoa! Or when I'm bored, I'd be like, dee 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 Silence. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, that felt good. Sorry. I just had to get that last one out of my system. Congratulations! Lola, I gotta get inside and shut off the water main. Whatever that is. Winning the Nobel Prize? That's amazing! Lola, move it! I mean, no bells. None. I can't live without bells. I think my house is flooded. Wow. Someone wins the Nobel Prize and thinks they're pretty hot. Well, guess what? You're not, all right? All you did was not have a bell, okay? Anyone can do that. I can totally do that. Who am I kidding? No, I can't. Bells are so fun. Wait, I thought you got the cheeseburger. Eh, cottage cheese will be fine. Try something new. Who knows? Maybe I'll like it. Mm -hmm. mm, not as cheesy as you'd think. Very cottagey, though. Okay, 
Let me give you a scenario. Oh, so sweet. Thank you. I feel bad, though. I don't have anything to give you. Here, take my cottage cheese. I insist. Well, one more quick, huge bite. No, a scenario. I'm going to describe a situation at work. You tell me how you would handle it. Ooh, fun. OK, imagine some customer comes up to you at the counter. Uh, who is it? Who is what? The customer. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Just pick someone. OK, I've got him. All right. So this customer's in a hurry, but you're already busy doing a bunch of other stuff. I'm sorry, where do I work again? Copy place. Right, got it. So you tell him to wait a minute, but he keeps ringing the bell saying, Miss, Miss, Miss. Well, hello there, customer. Can I help you? That depends. What are you doing for the rest of your life? Well, kind of thought I was going to work here until I figured out what I really wanted to do. Or maybe I'll go back to college. Forget all that. Marry me. <gasps> customer! Say yes. Yes, yes! I'll be Mrs. Customer! Lola! Huh? What would you do with that customer? I'd drop everything and do whatever he said. He's my customer, and my customer is my world. Oh, I'm so bored. I read all my magazines, I did the crossword. I ate all my peanuts. I ate all your peanuts. <laughs> I peed four times. Oh, I feel like I've been on this plane forever. Flight attendants, please prepare the cabin for takeoff. How long is this flight again? 10 hours. 10 hours there and 10 hours back. That's 20 of your 24 hours. Mmm, someone's good at math. <laughs> That's what I love about you. That and your smile. Oh, and your frown. And that in-between smile and frown face. And your profile. Oh, in the back of your head. Oh, look at your ears. What are those? Noise-canceling headphones. You don't happen to have another pair, do you? I can't believe Daffy was driving without a driver's license. That is so irresponsible. <laughs> Lola! That was a red light. I can't go to jail. I'm too pretty. I won't last a day. No, no, I'll, I'll lift weights. I'll get really muscular. My voice will get really deep. I'll run the place. Hi, officer. Can I see your driver's license? Absolutely. Just one second. Hold on. Let me see here. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, wait. That's my credit card. Here we go. Oh, nope. That's a recipe for salmon balls. They're really good. Here it is. Oh, no, that's my frozen yogurt frequent muncher card. Two more and I get a free waffle cone. Ooh. Oh, here it is. It was hiding. Oh, no, wait. That's a picture of bugs. Isn't he cute? Here it is. Wait, that's a basketball card. Manu Ginobili. I love Manu Ginobili. Oh, here it is. Whoops. Fortune cookie fortune. You will receive an unexpected letter from a friend. How does the cookie know that? That's crazy. I'm sorry, what did you want? Your driver's license. Oh, yeah, I don't have one of those. What do we know? We know climbing inside a mailbox is against the law. What else? Uh, the fire department's not happy when they have to use the jaws of life to pry you out of a mailbox. What else? The city says you have to pay to replace the mailbox or do 1,100 hours of community service. What else? Tosh has been missing for 28 minutes and we still haven't found him. Oh, right, the gopher. I totally forgot about that whole situation. Well, I guess we're back to square one. Or... This and that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Interesting. Maybe. Could be. Ah. I like where you're going with this. I hadn't thought of that. You're good. What do you think? I think this is just the break we've been looking for. Yeah, I think we'll be able to focus a lot better after we make some cookies. What are you doing? I'm trying to win my boyfriend back. I said I'll lose that girl! What boyfriend? Daffy. Daffy's not your boyfriend. I'm your boyfriend. Say that again? Mm-mm. That's okay. I have it right here. I'm your boyfriend. Oh, boy. I'm your boyfriend. I'm your boyfriend. 
Bugs? What are you doing here? We're on a date. He's my boyfriend. I'm his girlfriend. We're boyfriend-girlfriend. I thought you were our waitress. <whistles> wow. She's a keeper. You know what we should do sometime? Double date. How about tomorrow night? You guys like Thai? Yes! Yeah. Oh, hey, Bugs. What are you doing here? You called me. You were hysterical. Oh, right. It's a simple fracture. She'll have the cast off in about six weeks. How did it happen? It's crazy. I was out buying cupcakes when I noticed a baby stuck on top of a building. I knew I had to save that baby. So I finished my cupcake and shimmied up the drain pipe when suddenly the drain pipe started coming loose from the building. And you fell and broke your leg? No. I let go of the drain pipe just in time and grabbed hold of a telephone wire. So there I was, hanging from the wire. I started swinging myself back and forth until finally I flung myself as high as I could, hoping I would make it to the roof, but I didn't make it to the roof. I was totally out of control and I went crashing through a giant plate glass window. And that's when you broke your leg? No. I landed flat on my back in the middle of some girl's apartment. Hello. She was super sweet. We're totally having lunch next week. Anyway, I found my way to the elevator, but it was out of service, so I had to pry open the doors and throw myself into the elevator shaft. You fell down an elevator shaft? Will you please just listen? I caught the elevator cables. I pulled myself up hand over hand until I finally reached the top where I kicked the grate open with my feet and catapulted myself onto the roof. But right before I could grab the baby, it turned and I realized it wasn't a baby. It was a crow and it attacked me. What? I tried to fend it off, but he was one of those angry crows, and no matter what I did, he kept attacking. He wouldn't stop, and he just kept attacking and attacking until finally I lost my balance and fell 15 stories. And that when you broke your leg? No, I landed on an inflatable gorilla in front of a car dealership. So how did you break your leg? Oh, I was here for a checkup, and I slipped getting up on this table.